Hi everyone, it's great to connect with you all. I'm so sorry I can't make it. I'm really looking forward to next time when we can have a deeper conversation about social media and really dig in with strategies and fun tips and all kinds of goodies. I love talking about blogging because it ties in so well with Jewish sens sensibilities about content and conversation. The Talmud, for instance, was arguably the first blog a conversation that takes place across time and space, bringing in many voices, contradictory opinions, and preserving it all. Even the format speaks to this. If you've ever looked at a page of Talmud and not gotten completely intimidated like I usually do, the main content is at the center. The comments are in chronological order, reverberating out from there. Folks comment on the main idea, then comment on the comments, then comment on the comments, comments. Ah, Judaism, the ultimate obsessive compulsive book club. Um, while blogging was hot news online about 10 years ago, it's still, I believe, at the heart of the internet. Blogs are where the stories live and breathe and grow. Think of it this way. If the internet is a city, then Facebook is a college campus, LinkedIn is a convention center, Twitter is a series of wacky cocktail parties and little connected clubs, Pinterest is kind of a shopping mall and an art gallery in many ways, and so on and so forth. But blogs are often the homes. Blogs are where authentic stories come out. And people can visit your house and engage in your story there, and that's amazing and valuable. But more and more, as social media has evolved, it's when those stories are brought into all those other places, the shopping mall, the convention center, etc., that they become part of a bigger conversation. Sharing the story in your home, but then opening it up to this larger audience helps create a sense of fluidity, of comfort, and really of community. Stories get set free when they're shared in these larger spaces and the conversation around them gets hosted there. And the best part is often those stories don't stay online. They influence the way people interact with one another in real life, then flow back into the online world. And so you get this great push and pull. So blogs are a place for establishing a voice, for being your most authentic self outside of proprietary social networks like Facebook and Twitter. But if you want people to join in your home, to share in your story, you have to go out into the world and introduce yourself. Share that story, ask questions, visit other people's homes, and listen to what they have to say. So take this metaphor with you as you think about writing your blog post, and most of all, have fun. Um, send me any questions you might have over email or via Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. I'm all over the city, and I'll see you next time.